Hey, what's happening, everybody? I am back. I am back in a new location, a new shop. We're getting everything. We still setting everything up for you guys. But I, I couldn't wait to um, get right back into the swing of things and let you guys know what has been cooking in the leather industry. Now, some of you may already be caught up on what's going on, and some of you may not. But for those of you who know me, I, uh, I'm back. And for those of you who don't know me, I am the Leather Cowboy right here from Mere Leather Crafters in the dirty, dirty South. So let's get right back into this, guys, because this video here is going to be a series of uh, quite a few. So if you guys can see, um, we're still setting up all of the monitors. Uh, this, this TV here is going to be a background monitor for you guys to see and watch on. Uh, and then the monitor that I have in front of me, right above my workstation, that will uh, this TV will work as a monitor, so I can see what you guys see. And then all of the the tooling, the detailing, everything, you guys will not miss a beat at all. So again, something simple. We still getting it up. Uh, got my plaques up. You know, I was very proud of that when I opened up my very first shop. This one here is the second shop. I uh, got the dartboard to play around with. Uh, and this here is the, the monitor for, for me. Uh, where I can see what you guys see. But just to give you an overall look. We're still trying to get it set up and finished. Uh, more TVs there. You know. Uh, because I will be moving the podcast. Uh, uh, plugged in. In this location as well. So we'll be, it's going to be a one stop shop for everything. But. Let's get right off into this video here. If you guys have not heard about the Hey Dude craze right now, this in the leather industry is crazy bananas. A lot of people are buying these. Uh, and Hey Dudes, for one, is these little joints right here. Little shoes. Simple. I mean, uh, a customer had called and asked, was I doing them? And at the time, I wasn't. But when I started doing the research and finding out what was actually being done with these, uh, business is not let up at all. Um, you can purchase these. Now, I found these on Amazon uh, for 44 bucks, but they are very super comfortable. I mean, really comfortable. These shoes, you can just fold them all up to pieces. But... They are very popular right now. And the, actually, the customer that called, she was in uh, into trail riding, and they wear these on the trail rides. I thought it was, uh, you know, I'm a hey, cowboy, country boy, I'm thinking boots. But she was like, no, these are very comfortable, and they work very well on the trail rides for people who ride horses. So, got in and got to doing the research on them. Uh, you can purchase these for 54 Most of the times, the customer, they'll send the shoes in to you. They've already had them. It's already in their size. And then the only thing that you have to do is to do the tooling work and to do the front. Now, and that's what makes this part remarkable, ladies and gentlemen. The only tooling work is right on the top of the shoe. That's it. That's the only tooling work that's involved. And I'm going to show you guys in this video, step one. And then right behind this, uh, uh, we're going to be showing you how to do the tooling work as well as how to stitch them to the Hey Dudes. Now, these shoes retail. Now, if you was to buy these on your own and do the tooling work, they can retail as up as $325, depending on the work. Uh, but uh, you can look on Etsy, uh, you can look on Pinterest, or any other other leather crafting sites, and various crafters are charging different prices according to their skill set. Now, if you're getting into these and you're just doing them as a hobby, just to give gifts to the family or whatnot, you know, I think retail price a good place to start will be around the seventy-five, eighty-five dollar range. At least that way, you got to get your money back for the shoes, which is forty-four dollars plus the shipping. Uh, and then whatever tooling work you do uh, doesn't have to be as detailed as some crafters, but you want to be able to flex and show your skill set. So let's get right into this, and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys in this video here how you take your patterns for the Hey Dude shoes. So now, right off the break, we go right back to our handy dandy painters tape. You guys can get regular masking tape or painters tape. Uh, 
Go to Dollar Tree. Same as always, as all of my other videos, minimize your spending on the front end to maximize your profits on the back end. So Dollar Tree, you can get you a roll of painter's tape or masking tape for a buck. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. And then you want to take that, uh, and then we're going to transfer this pattern onto the uh, poster board, and then you have your pattern for both shoe tops. They should fit, so all you need is just one pattern off of one shoe. Whichever one you want to use doesn't really matter. Some people say the right foot because the right foot's supposed to be bigger than the left. That's not true. We already know scientifically that has been uh, dispelled. But you can take any shoe, and what you're going to do is you're going to tear off some strips, maybe about uh, 10 inches, maybe a foot, uh, depending on the size of the shoe. And what I like to do, let me get this uh, camera angled for you guys so you guys can see. Uh, and what we're doing here, I like to go right up the center of the shoe and just stick my masking tape or my painter's tape right on the top. We just want to tack it. Because what we're going to do after this is we're going to take our Sharpie and we're going to draw out around the uh, outline part of the shoe so we'll know where to cut that when we uh, get ready to put it on our poster board. So you run one strip up the front and then you're going to come right back with another strip here and you're just going to fill this in on both sides of the shoe that's open space. That's all we're going to do there. And you guys bear with me because I'm still putting the lighting in. So we will have more lights to brighten this up a little bit. And you guys will be able to definitely see everything. I just wanted to get you guys on a start position. Now, another good thing to do, a uh, good investment to have in, in mine is uh, get you a shoe uh, last. And then that way you can put it inside the shoe and keep the shoe formed and you won't have to keep using your hand. But if you don't have a shoe last, that's okay. That's okay. It's not a major thing. Just use your hand to make sure that your tape is going to stick. And you want to go through, you want to make sure that you follow the contour shape of the shoe. and make sure that that sticks just like that ladies and gentlemen nothing major nothing pressing and you want to get down in here too to make sure you get all the way down to the toe part because we want to make sure that we get the outline of that rib on that stitching of the shoe and get it nice and tight inside of there and I, I missed a little part over here so I think I'm just gonna pull this off which is a great part about the uh, painter's tape you can take it off and move it so and, and you don't have to waste any tape and we're just moving that around so we can uh, get that to cover the entire part again you don't have now once you get the shoes in make sure once you make your pattern because I wear a 13 and you'll have different customers with various sizes different shoe sizes or whatever so once you make your pattern write the size of that pattern onto uh, uh write, write the size of that shoe onto your pattern now all of the hey dudes are basically made the same so you don't have to uh, uh do anything special there but you do want to make sure that you write the size of that. So uh, the next customer that comes in with a 13, boom, I already have a 13 pattern. I can just go straight to my leather work and that will speed your time up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here, we got the entire shoe covered and we're gonna come right back with our Sharpie, a Sharpie, a pen, anything that will make a visible uh, mark onto your pad onto the tape and we're just going to go right inside of that stitch line and just take your pen and or pen or sharpie and mark right inside that stitch line this is key because when you get ready to cut your leather it will be the exact same shape and it'll fit right on in there very good. Now, here's the top of, of the, now, it's totally up to each, either uh, each crafter. Some have gone all the way up to the top of the shoe. I like to come 
right below the Hey Dudes, the wording on the shoe. I like to come right across that. And then we'll do some little kind of edge design or something to make it a little bit more authentic and make it yours right under the words. So the person who are wearing the Hey Dudes, um, they can still be able to see the name brand of the shoe, but all of the tooling work will be yours. Now, also, uh, when you come in, uh, covering up your Hey Dudes, keep in mind you want to go a little bit over the words. So when you start cutting this, then it uh, you can make small adjustments to make sure that it fits right into the pattern that you need it. All right. So we're done with that. Now let's get ready to go to our poster board. And again, you can use any scrap piece of poster. You should have plenty left over from other projects. And you already have the contour of your shoe. So you just lay that flat right on top of right on top of your poster paper. And just spread that out. make sure that it lays flat again and you can make small adjustments because of the shape of the shoe you're gonna have those contours in there but you want the basic shape to stay the same now we just come back with our scissors and we're just gonna cut this out a little bit bigger than your, your, your marking you still have the basic shape to make uh, minor adjustments. Still have the basic shape, but it'll give you a starting point when you get ready to start uh, adjusting these in there. All right, cut this just a little bit over. I would say about an eighth of an inch bigger than your mark. And that'll give you a good starting point just this simple to come up with a simple pattern for a popular uh, thing that's happening right now in the business world now we have that cut I'm just gonna take this and lay it back in and voila everything looks like it's gonna match up very well and I see right here where the top of the hey dudes right at the top of the shoe so we know that we're going to trim this down so the customer will be able to see the hey dudes right when we get ready to get these done so we do uh just take some uh minor adjustments i'm going to trim this up a little bit more but you guys come right on back i'm going to be doing this all week long so you guys can go step by step and knowing how to make your very own custom pair of hey dudes and if, if you time this just right Father's Day is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Father's Day is coming up. It doesn't take a lot of time into it. Uh, it's going to take you more time to tool it and stitch it than it would be to make the pattern. So all you have to do is find out what size foot Pops got, and then you can go right on in and make his own very custom pair of Hey Dudes, and I can guarantee you that that simple gift there will ring in for a long time because nobody else well, uh, there's not a store that sells what you can do. Hey, I'm the Leather Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Crafters, in the Dirty Dirty with the Custom Hey Dudes. I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. And then we'll keep right on rocking and rolling because I'm just going to show you a simple pattern that you can work with and, 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 and set up. And you guys can have that. The downloaded pattern will also be available. So all you have to do is send a $1 donation and you can, I'll uh, email you the downloaded pattern in the print. And you guys can keep right, right on rocking and rolling. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.